For much of the season, the talk of harness racing was the two-year-old pacing colt Nihilator. A son of the immortal Nyatros, Nihilator first captured everyone's imagination by winning the richest harness race in history, the $2,161,000 Woodrow Wilson Pace in 152 and four-fifths, the fastest mile ever by a two-year-old. He won a heck of a race that night. He was parked the whole way, and I caught cover just past a half before anybody got out in front of me. And around the last turn, he just relaxed so much, he felt like he, he, he wasn't even going to go by anybody. And I moved him over, and uh, he just exploded. But here comes Nihilator on the outside. Nihilator taking command, and he's pulling away from the field. Supreme Dynasty is second. A late move by Praise Dignity. Nihilator wins this one, going away in 152-4, and four, a world record. He later rode outside the entire way in a heat at Lexington but still pulled away from a good field in 153 and two on a less than perfect day. And Nihilator is thundering by to get the lead. Nihilator's gonna be hung the mile and draw off. It is Nihilator going away. Going into the Breeders' Crown at the Meadows, Nihilator was undefeated in 11 starts, and he made his tally 12 for 12 with a narrow decision in his elimination over pace setter Dragon's Lair after a furious duel. Coming for the wire, Dragon Slayer, Nihilator on the outside, Nihilator and Dragon Slayer, Nihilator! But 13 proved to be Nihilator's unlucky number. As Dragon Slayer came back in the final to post a wire-to-wire -wire victory in world record time, with Nihilator having to settle for third. Nonetheless, Nihilator was a runaway winner in balloting for divisional honors. Nihilator's extraordinary season saw him post a record for freshmen with earnings of $1.3 million, the bulk of it coming in the Woodrow Wilson. In the Wilson and afterwards, Nihilator was driven by Bill O'Donnell, the magic man of harness racing.